Hello, hello, fam. Welcome, welcome. My name is Magdalene Janet. If you're new, welcome to the fam. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always here having a good time. And come visit me on TikTok and Insta because I'm always there. And of course, welcome back to my oldies but goodies. ColourPop released the cutest freaking Christmas Rudolph collection and I have to try it. You guys know I typically don't review like limited edition collections or just collections in general, especially with ColourPop because they do turn things around quick. However, have you guys noticed ColourPop hasn't really released like weekly like they used to do? I believe they slowed down. So that's kind of nice because it lets us really appreciate each collection. So we have an eyeshadow palette. We have two of these lip masks and lip scrubs. Ooh, I could use a lip scrub. I'll probably use that today because my lips are janky right now. Some lip glosses. We're going to try this out. What is this? Oh, look at this lipstick, lip pencil and a luxe lipstick okay we got we got things here it says it doubles as an ornament too oh that's cute oh and a hair clip should i put it on i'll put it on after so this is what comes i did receive this via pr if you watched vlog 10 you guys saw i unboxed everything and girl let's get right into it so let me get some tape thank you guys all for the suggestions of tape i'm gonna buy some new tape so we are going to tape this bad boy like this I think you'll stay like that. Yeah. Let's open this up. Hold on. My nose. Guys, my nose is runny. Okay. So when I opened it in PR, I ripped it because I was way too excited. This is how the palette looks. And this is a perfect holiday palette. Isn't it so pretty? I like the greens and the reds and the neutral tones. It's definitely workable. It's definitely festive. Like this is festive. And I like that they have the names here in the front and then also in the back. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, let's prime the lid. You guys know I've been liking this matte concealer and it is the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. Okay, let's blend this out. I will try to create at least one more look with this palette on YouTube Shorts because I'm already a little backed up with the other palettes. I just reviewed Huda Beauties yesterday and then I'm still working on one more look for Natasha Denona. So I got you guys, I got you. Nice and blended. This is so cute. Okay, let's start with Eat Eat. Is that what it's called? Oh yeah. And I'm using the Smith 235 brush. I'm gonna tap it right here on the crease. Let's see what we're gonna work with. I haven't used a ColourPop eyeshadow in a while, but ColourPop never fails. Oh, by the way, this collection is available at Ulta on ColourPop site and also at Target. It's always nice when things are super, super duper accessible to you. Oh yeah, this color's parties. Parties! Let's go full power. Yeah, full power. Ooh, look at that. This is a MAC 228 brush. Let's make a wing. This is nice and pigmented. Oh, wow, very pigmented. Okay, ColourPop. It's smooth too. I mean, we kind of know though, ColourPop brings the heat. Yeah, I'm gonna get this MAC brush. It's an eyeliner brush. Get full power and just darken it up a little bit. Yeah, bring it here too, in the inner corner. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. I want to go in with the deeper shade, Ready Santa. This shade, let's look at this. Well, it's like a brick shade. Oops, I got too much, my bad. Now I'm just getting like the corner, you see, not the corner, the tip. And then we're gonna make this deeper, Ready Santa. Oh, Ready Santa, yeah, that's the shade we're using. This is the epitome of fall. I kind of like the greens too that they kind of threw in there. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna get this paper towel, remove that product. We're gonna go back with Eat. Eat. Just going to blend this out a little more. Hold on, let me take this plastic off so I can use the mirror, this mirror. We're just going to blend this out just so that it looks blended. I kind of want to cut the crease a little bit. Not cut the crease, you know, I don't like to cut it too sharply, just a little bit. Like I've told you in the past, I'm not a big cut creaser, crease cutter. <laughs> I like to just clean up this area. Not too sharp, still keep it a little neat, but nothing too like cut, you know? And then I always like to go back. I'm gonna go with Ready Santa in case like I got some concealer, which I kind of did. We're just going to, you know how it is, retrace our steps per the use. Full power, just to get that wing. Like my tape is tripping. I wanna use all these shades. Okay, let's use this right here. 
North Pole. North Pole, let's get it in right here in the inner corner. I always like to put the lightest shade here in the inner corner this way. It opens up your eyes and it looks like North Pole is the lightest shade here. Yeah, like this. It's not as shimmery as I would like it to be. Yeah, the finger definitely helps. I'm gonna turn the brush around, get this snow bank. And then we're gonna blend it into that first one and then bring it middle of the lid. You know what I was thinking? It just, the thought just came to me. I'm gonna go back to full power right here. And I wanna get the brush and get handsome nose. Handsome nose and add it here. Give us a bit of a shimmer, but not all the way. Let's see. Oh yeah, blend it out like that. Okay, I just randomly thought about it. I'm like, wait, wait, before the idea goes. So close that area in. Let's use Misfit Toys. Looks like it's an iridescent. Okay, Misfit Toys. Oh no, it's not. It's not an iridescent, I thought it was. The purple, like a light lavender maybe. Gonna add it here. Also mixing it. I feel like I'm losing my crease here, so I'm gonna go back in with Ready Santa, which is a bit of a brown shade. And looking straight ahead, I'm gonna follow where my fold is so that when my eyes are open, you can see that brown coming through. Can always get like a smaller, more dense brush. I'm using this Makeup by Mario one. You could place kind of like right here and then blend it out. So it's not too harsh. And I just want it at the end. Cause you see like all that glitter transferred. I don't like that look personally. So I'm gonna have to kind of go back. These glitters feel very loose. Like they're not sticking on too, too well. And they're not as shiny, you know? Let me do this. I might like mess it up, but let's see. Ooh, I took that whole chunk off, but we can always go back. Eat, eat. You know, that was that first shade. And then go back with Ready Santa. I make up my smaller makeup brush. Go back. I'm doing tapping motions just so that it can really stick on. Going back to blend it. Now it looks better. Does have that glitter stuff on it? All right, clean up that brush. Go back here. And then we're just going to blend. Okay, the look looks nice. I feel like it just took us a little bit of time to get here. So let's see, let's see. Ooh, it's nice and straight. We're having issues here. We have to blend a little more. So I wanted to keep the under eyes just simple, nothing too much because we're gonna have a lip, a dark lip. This is a nude. I don't wanna open this completely because I wanna put it in a giveaway. Is there a lipstick supposed to be in here? No lipstick in here. Oh, nuh -uh. are we missing one? Oh my God, I think we are. Oh, this is the lipstick. Oh, duh, it fell out of this. Okay, wow. Let's use the lip scrub. I need a lip scrub. My lips are crusty. We got, oh, this is so cute. Let's see. I'm just gonna get whatever's on the cap and scrub this down. The way this works, oh. Typically, you should do this before makeup. I forgot. And what you do, it has these little scrubby things. It makes your lips super, super soft as you scrub them like that. And then, and then you could do this. You don't have to do it for too long, but you have to do it for a good amount so it gets through the dead skin. Oh yeah, they feel soft. It tastes sweet. So I'm gonna go like that. Press this in. This is how the nude shade looks. I'm not gonna use this. I'll probably put this in a giveaway. It's too cute and it's super festive. So let me put it back in. So what I'm gonna use is the red, which is the shade There's Always Tomorrow. So we got a lip liner. I don't think I've ever tried a ColourPop lip liner. So I'm kind of excited. Ooh, this is a deep, beautiful shade. Pop this beauty on. Oh, this lip, it's so pretty. You know what I want to put? The little head thing. Look at these. Okay, let's put here one, like that. Another one. Is it like this? Yeah. Well, let's put it close. <laughs> Actually style it. Let me get this piece of hair and like this. And then another piece, this. 
Oh my gosh, so cute. Maybe a bobby pin. Just shove it in back here somewhere. Ooh, yeah. Sometimes bobby pins just do the, the job well. Just to secure, you just shove it somewhere. Because bobby pins are so thin, so small, it really, it, it hides things. But now my curls, my curls. You know, I'm about to put this clip here. So I'm like, <laughs> Sometimes you just have to improvise everything. We're gonna leave those there. My little reindeers are so cute. This collection is adorable. This red is by far one of my favorite. It's super deep. It's close to a wine red, not there. It's kind of on its way there. I really love how red it is. It's not blue undertone. It's not warm undertone. It's like the perfect red. I just love a lip liner that matches the freaking lipstick exactly. I mean, we know ColourPop does lip products so, so well. This set of lippies are $16 each. The lip gloss, you know what? Should we add some gloss? Perfect. It'll go with that lip, the nude lip. This is like a pink one and then this is a clear one. Okay, so let's use Dolly. Ooh, a little pop. A little, a little pop. Yeah, this gloss is so cute. Okay, let me just swatch it for you really quick. Oh yeah, it has a good amount of color. You see that light pink? Mm, mm, mm. Lip gloss set is $24. Not bad for three. I love the lip scrub. It actually really, really works because my lips were super, super cracky. Ideally, I would suggest to use a lip scrub once a week. I don't even do it once a month, but you know, the lip scrubs do help though get rid of that dead skin, especially on top of your lips if they're dry and stuff. Palette retails for $24. I like the palette. I love the color scheme a lot and I feel like the look looks a lot better now that it's been on for like 30 minutes at first I felt like the shimmers were a little lacklustery but they're not once it kind of hits skin warm it kind of activates them a little bit now you see how shiny this is we get that nice shimmer shade onto the lid at first I was like oh I wasn't sure you know the mattes glide like butter we know ColourPop's eyeshadows for the most part run consistently they're pigmented they're affordable they work and this color scheme scheme is truly so beautiful it's so holiday season like you can use this entire palette all season long and my favorite products were the palette and the lipstick the lip gloss is cool but I love the lipstick it's just so rich in color oh I loved it so much my little reindeers I love these too I typically am not a festive type of gal I don't really dress up in general for like seasonal things this is cute this is so cute I loved it let me know what your thoughts are on this collection are you planning on picking this up again this is available on ColourPop's website Target and Ulta I will tag it and link it down below for you to shop I love like ColourPop always allows you to buy the entire set or things individually these will be perfect for like stocking stuffers for anyone that you know is a makeup lover the lip products or the palette or the whole collection would just be a great gift you know I think I'll add some swatches here for you just so you can see how the palette swatched in daylight Bam, I wanted to show you how the eyes look in daylight I'm in front of the window look they look really good I'm just really surprised because I wasn't that excited for the eyes but I kind of am I love this cranberry a little bit of red this lip you see how perfect this lip is and my lips feel super soft because of the scrub Ooh, and my ears I'm gonna keep these as long as possible I have to film another video today oh it looks so pretty in daylight okay you know how to give you the views. Okay, bye. Yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you for hanging out with me and spending a little bit of your day with me. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the button right there, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Yeah, let's see how I did. Sure do. Oh my goodness.